The Roanoke Rail Yard Dogs celebrated their recent President's Cup championship with the in the Star City over the weekend. It was a big time because we haven't had a champion in forever. Yeah, it is a feat that only a few can relate to. 10 Sports anchor Eric Johnson joins us now in studio. And Eric, you had a chance to spend time with a Roanoke hockey legend who is also a champion. Yes, indeed. 1974 was the last time or first time that Roanoke won a championship on the hockey rink. And that was the Roanoke Valley. Rebels when they won that league championship. On that team were a core of French Canadian players, including Claude Pichet. My first year professional, I signed with Minnesota North Stars. Inside this man cave, walls full of pictures, memories, and outline to a story linking the love of hockey with the Roanoke Valley. And over here, that's Montreal Junior Canadian. Over here is when I signed with the Boston Bruins. Claude Pichet has become synonymous with hockey in the Star City thanks to a decision he made during the second year of his professional contract with the Boston Bruins. Tom Johnson said, would you like to go to San Diego or Roanoke? Let me tell you what's going on in Roanoke. You had a bunch of Frenchmen there. Claude Pichet stick handling. The Montreal native helped the Roanoke Valley Rebels win 53 games in the 1973-74 season, capped off by claiming the Southern Hockey League championship. I got the MVP uh, of the league. We didn't make any money then, but boy, we had a good team. <laughs> <laughs> three of them went to the NHL, and three of them went to the world hockey from here to that. The sport, a bit different in the 70s. No helmets, limited padding, and for Pichet... I wear size 11, my skates were size 8. He didn't wear any socks, and it was tight as it could be. But the man who was given the nickname Mr. Smooth says one thing has stood the test of time. It doesn't matter when, in the 50s, in the 60s, in the 70s, in the 80s, intensity is always there. And it was at the Berglund Center where the rail yard dogs, just like the Rebels, captured a league championship in its seventh season of existence. A welcome sight after Roanoke went 10 years without a hockey team. There was no reason not to have a professional hockey team here. And we waited for the right person, and certainly he came in and made the deal with the city, and here we are today. He being principal owner Bob McGinn, who has developed a close relationship with Pichet. When he first purchased the team, I went and introduced myself, and look, we clicked since day first. Another chapter in the book of hockey history for Roanoke, with more pages to be written, and maybe a little jewelry to go with it. Yeah, give everybody a ring there. Well deserved, baby. I'd agree with that statement. As you may be wondering, Pichet stayed in Roanoke after retiring in the mid-70s, and he's not only a hockey champion, but also a champion of life. Two days after the Dogs won the President's Cup, Pichet became a permanent citizen of the United States.